Well, let's pray and thank the Lord for this beautiful day that he has made. We believe that God is even with us, even though we are speaking through cameras here, God is always still with us, right? God never takes a break. God never goes to sleep or he never gets bored, right? God is everywhere. And wherever you might be watching from, you can also join along and you can do, we're going to do a few hand motions maybe. So you can do it wherever you are and Let's praise the Lord and learn his word together. Okay, let's pray and thank God for this day. Father God, we thank you for the good things that you are doing today. We thank you, Lord, that you said you will never leave us nor forsake us. You said, Lord, that you will be with us forever and ever, Lord. And we praise you, God, that you are with us, Father. No matter what we might do, no matter where we are, you will always be with us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So let's learn God's word today on being strong and courageous. Okay, we're going to learn a Bible verse today. And we're also going to learn a story that you might already know. But it's you know, the Bible says the more we hear God's word, faith comes into our heart. The more we hear what the devil says, fear comes into our heart and makes us fearful, right? But when we hear God's word, faith always comes. So let's see what God's word says today. Okay. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. It's right here in your Bible. So if you've got a Bible with you, you can open up to the book of Joshua. Okay. Now, Joshua 1 9 says, be strong and courageous. Let's do that together. When we learn God's word. We like to do it with hand motions, okay? So let's say it together. Be strong and courageous. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Okay, we're going to say that again. Ready? Be strong. You do strong like this. Be strong and courageous. For the Lord my God is with me wherever I go. Isn't that wonderful? God is with us wherever we go. Maybe you are doing your homework. God is with you. Maybe you are, you know, going to bed and it might be dark in the night. Well, God doesn't take a break. God never goes to sleep, right? God is always awake. So God is there when you're asleep. And even if you get Bad dreams. Remember, if you have Jesus in your heart, you can tell that devil to get out and he will leave. Okay, because God is with you. Well, then maybe you might be, you know, walking on the street or something or going to school. Well, now you might not be going to school, but when you do, God is still with you. That's why we never have to fear anything. Just like Joshua 1 9 says, be strong and courageous, right? It doesn't tell us to be weak, right? And be like pussycats, okay? And just, ooh, just hide away. Like, you know, when you, when, have you ever seen a pussycat, right? When a pussycat, um, if they don't know you properly, what will they do? They will run because they're scared, right? And we don't have to be like that because when God is with you, you can be strong. You have power over the devil, okay? Here's prayer Beth. Rabbi is going to say it with me again, okay? Be strong and courageous for the Lord my God is with me wherever I go, okay? He is with us. Thank you, prayer bear. Okay, now remember the devil is a liar, okay? God always tells the truth, but the devil is a liar. Now, what does the devil tell us? If God tells us we are strong, then what do you think the devil tries to tell us? He might say things like, you can't do that. You always make mistakes. You're a failure. You're a loser. Now, that's what the devil says. Remember, the devil is a liar. Okay, you can say it out with me. The devil is a liar. Okay, let's say that together. The devil is a liar. So if the devil says something, you don't have to believe him. 
because he never tells the truth right only thing he knows how to tell is lies right and if he says you can't do that you're a loser you always make mistakes you're a failure you say devil you're a liar i don't believe you i believe what god says and god says i am strong and courageous okay now i know you know this story okay we are going to do the story of david and goliath and you might say i know that i know that story i have heard it many times well like i said before when you hear god's word more and more faith comes right so the more you hear the story the more faith will come into your heart okay now let's see what happened to david at this time there was a king and this king his name was king saul now king saul was a very good king right in the beginning he loved god very much and he listened to god but then later king saul he became a bad king he got all proud and he said i can do whatever i want i don't need to listen to god so he got very proud well god didn't like that attitude right and god said we have to choose another king to reign over the people okay so what happened well god spoke to a prophet named samuel what's a prophet well a prophet is someone who speaks god's word all right and his name was samuel and god told samuel i want you to go to a house and this man his name is jesse and jesse has some sons and you are going to choose a son from that house to be the next king okay so samuel said okay god i'll go well samuel came to jesse's house and when he came all jesse's sons were all ready they were excited ooh who maybe i'm going to be the next king and then the other boy said no maybe i'm going to be the king no it's me right and they were all excited right either one is going to be the king well what happened the first boy came hmm? his name was eliab if you can say that with me eliab okay now eliab when he came he came with a very you know a big uh, king type of look and samuel the prophet looked at eliab and said oh this must be the one that god has chosen to be king and then all of a sudden samuel heard god's voice god said no 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 samuel this is not the one and then god said samuel don't look on his outside cuz i look at the heart and his heart i'm not very happy with his heart he is not the one to be the next king hmm. oh samuel said okay lord so what do you think happened the next son came hmm? his name was a binadab these are big names those is in the bible some of them had very long names okay so god said no not a binadab and the next boy came hmm? no god said not this boy the next boy came has to be him lord hmm? no said god no and all the boys came and god said no now samuel is oh, what am i going to do so samuel was thinking he said jesse don't you have any other sons yes yeah, samuel i have a son but he's taking care of the sheep he's just a shepherd boy uh okay okay i'll tell him to come can you believe it they hadn't even called david to come so what happened they got david rushed up and when samuel saw david he was smiling and he said yes God said that's the boy that's going to be the next king. Those days if they choose a king they put this oil on their head so it goes from their head down to their feet. And that's what Samuel did. He put the oil on David's head and David was going to be the next king. Now let's see what happened. Now remember the Bible verse we learned earlier be strong and courageous. Well we're going to see that David really had to be strong and courageous. Okay, let's see what happened. So, 
Prabha is going to be David, okay? Now he's he's so happy, he's excited. I'm going to be the king. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Right? And so, one day, he went to the field. His brothers, they were in the army. And there were these Philistines who were going to come. Who are the Philistines? Well, the Philistines are enemy armies, okay? They are enemies of God. They were coming to fight the children of Israel. When they came to fight, they were ready to fight. All of a sudden, they brought their champion to come and get ready to fight. Now, what's this man's name? Goliath. His name also sounds so... Ugh. Goliath. <laughs> and when the children of Israel saw Goliath, oh, they were shaking and shivering. We can't fight this man. They went behind. And Goliath walks up and said, This day, who are you going to give me to fight? I want a man to come and fight me. If you fight and win against me, we will all come and bow down and serve you. But if we win, you will come and bow down and be our slaves. Oh, they were all shaking in their boots. And what happened? Now, Jesse had sent his son David, okay, to go to the battle to give his brothers something to eat. So David comes along and he's happy ever after just coming. And all of a sudden, he hears the voice. <laughs> oh, who is that man? David said. And then they said, that's Goliath. Goliath has come. He's the Philistine army and he's going to fight against us. Really? But David said, we are God's armies. We can win over him. We don't have to be scared of that fellow who's trying to say things. David, what are you trying to say? David said, if you all are scared and not going to be strong, I will go and fight this giant Goliath. You, David, you are just a small boy. That man, Goliath, has been fighting since he was a boy. You're just a boy. You can't do it. David said, I'll do it. Hmm? So they took David to King Saul. And King Saul said, who's going to fight? Somebody's coming to fight. Oh, wow. And then they said, Here's the one coming to fight, Goliath. David, King Saul said, you are going to fight. And then David said, yes, I will fight. I have killed a lion and a bear with my God who is helping me. And God will also help me fight this giant. So Saul said, okay, David. And then they put on Saul's armor for David. And he went, ah. Oh, I can't wear this, said David. This is too big for me. I will take a sling and a stone and fight the giant. So what happened? David went to the battlefield and he's all ready and he's looking at God and he said, God, I am strong. I am courageous. God is with me wherever I go. I can do all things. I can do all things. God is with me. And comes the giant Goliath. Who's coming to fight me? And David said, I will fight you, Goliath. I will fight you. And Goliath looked and said, You? And everybody burst out. Ha, ha, ha. Who is this fellow who's come to fight against me? And David said, You come to me with your sword and your spear, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts. He is with me. And he will give me the victory. And Goliath said, I will chop your head off and give it to the birds to eat. David said, no, I will get your head this day. So they ran toward each other. And all of a sudden, Lord is with me. I am strong. I am courageous. He took his sling and his stone and, and he threw it at Goliath. Goliath froze for a minute. And all of a sudden, he saw stars and he fell down. And everybody, all the Philistines, oh, 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 they started running. He's killed the giant. Our champion is dead. And they ran and they fled. And all of the armies of the living God, the children of Israel, ran and they went and they got their things. And they won the victory.
remember david he had the word in his heart what was the promise be strong and courageous for the lord your god is with you okay wherever you are you can say that with me okay let's do the hand motions together ready be strong and courageous for the lord my god is with me wherever i go right be strong and courageous for the lord my god is with me wherever i go right isn't that wonderful you see when you have god's word inside your heart there is nothing to be afraid of right now sometimes you know even in school kids might try to bully you like goliath right goliath was a big old bully right he tried to bully david and he tried to say you can't do it and sometimes kids in school will try to bully you and say who do you think you are you can't do it you will never make it right and they'll try to you know speak bad words over you but you don't go behind them and say oh so you do you think you are huh you don't have to go fight behind you be like david and you say lord i'm not going to fear those kids i'm not going to fear what they try to tell me because i am strong and i am courageous and sometimes the devil will put bad thoughts in your mind right he might try to say Oh no you can't do it you're too small you always make mistakes now remember what i said earlier when you get bad thoughts in your mind you need to speak the word of god out of your mouth the word says be strong and courageous so don't be afraid of bullies goliath was a big bully but david had god with him that's why he didn't have to fear those bullies right now we're going to sing some songs also but i want you all to say these we're going to call this faith builders okay and say with me faith builders what are faith builders well faith builders are building yourself up with the word of god the more you build yourself remember it's like blocks right have you ever played with blocks i'm sure you do right when you take one block you put another block on top and another block and another and it soon becomes something big when you make it well the same way when you take god's word one scripture at a time and another promise and you speak it out and you speak it out what's going to happen you're going to get very strong inside okay now i'm going to say the first faith builder and you say it after me the first one that we already learned i am strong okay prayer bear is going to help me ready i am strong and courageous okay let's say that together i am strong and courageous for the lord my god is with me wherever i go okay here's another faith builder let's say another one god has not given me a spirit of fear okay when you do fear do it like that okay God has not given me a spirit of fear but he has given me power let's do power power and love okay give yourself a big hug love and a sound mind a sound mind not a fearful mind a sound mind okay let's say that one more time god has not given me a spirit of fear but he has given me power love and a sound mind okay one more faith builder we're going to say okay the lord is my light can you do light shining light the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear the lord is my light I'm not going to be afraid. Now we're going to sing a song and some of you might already know this song, but remember, the more you hear God's word, the more you say it, faith comes. When you hear what the devil says, fear comes in your heart. Okay? So we're going to sing it and you can snap your fingers where you are and we're going to pretend like we're dancing together. Okay? Let's say it together. God has not given me a spirit of fear. You say
give me a spirit of fear. God has not given me a spirit of fear. Now you say, God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. But of power and of love and a sound mind. Second Timothy 1, 7. Second Timothy 1, 7. Okay, we're going to say it again. God has not given me a spirit of fear. God has not given me a spirit of fear. No, God has not given me a spirit of fear. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. But of power and of love and of sound mind. Second Timothy. Second Timothy one seven. <laughs> Second Timothy 1, 7. That's right. So let's remember our Bible promise today. Okay, one more time with prayer bear. Be strong and courageous. For the Lord my God is with me wherever I go. Joshua 1, 9. So let's pray together. And thank God for what he taught us today. We're learning on being strong like David, right? Not being afraid of bullies, not being afraid of bad thoughts, because you got a big God inside of you. Okay, let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful day that you've given us. Thank you, Lord, that we are strong and courageous because you are with us. Even when it gets dark at night, we know you will never leave us. In Jesus' name, amen. Until next time, we'll see you again. Bye. Don't be afraid of anything, anything, anything. Don't be afraid of anything, because Jesus lives in your heart. Jesus lives in your heart.